The regularities of our lives creates the illusion that the way things are is the way they always have been and always will be. Modern life in particular, for all its difficulties, is far easier than human life has been at any other point in human history. So we too easily forget that the security and ease of our lives is premised upon the stability of our political institutions. Looking back to ancient history, the Peloponnesian War presents a great example of why we should not take the stability as a natural fact. Thucydides, the 5th central BC Athenian general and historian, wrote up his account of the contemporaneous Peloponnesian War, a destructive 30-year conflict between Athens and Sparta. In my research, I draw the attention to the way in which Thucydides presents supposedly stable political organizations as actually very, very fragile. Ultimately, Thucydides' point is that we should not cast away what stability we do have for supposedly grand political projects. When Athens embarked upon its project of imperial expansion, it thought it would win for itself greatness and immortal glory. What it won instead was the devastation of the plague when bodies piled up in the streets for the dogs and food became so scarce that some resorted to cannibalism. Instead of its victorious armies marching all over the known world, they instead starved to death in a Sicilian quarry, victims of an ill-fated attempt to open a second front in the war. Finally, unable to prosecute the war any longer, Athens itself fell victim to full-scale civil conflict. War, Thucydides tells us, is a harsh teacher. It robs us of the means of providing for our daily lives and daily needs, and it generates passions to match. The point is that in times of duress, we were all capable of the monstrosities which we condemn in others. It behooves us then not to be governed by our greed and not to play fast and loose with what political stability we do have. Thucydides, however, though, does provide us with one example of peacetime happiness. This is in his recollection of ancient festivals on the island of Delos, when families gathered to engage in singing, dancing, and boxing competitions in honor of the god Apollo. If it is a mistake to ignore the human capacity for destruction, it is equally a mistake to ignore potential for community, creation, family, grace, and joy. Both aspects of human nature need to be recognized if we are to resist the ravages of war. And this, finally, I think is Thucydides' enduring message. Not to forget the fragility of our political society and institutions, not to forget the fragility of our own personal lives, but always to be grateful for what life and civilization we do have. Thank you.